Today's assembly lines. We are living and working in a times of Industry 4.0, where manufacturing technology is driven by digitalization and connectivity. Data collection and data processing should generate new value. We strive for smart factories. We are looking for advanced automation solutions. And robotization and cobotization are rapidly growing. Why it is important? Why we want it? There is increasing product mix. It is driven by end users requiring customized products. Also, manufacturing is challenged to further reduce batch sizes while keep costs under control. There's also increasing system complexity. More systems communicate with each other. More critical applications are dependent on software. It is important to pay attention to versions and access control, so we secure reliability of the solution. What about human factor? Coexistence of users, operators or engineers with different systems. We are living in a high-paced environment full of changes. I just mentioned several examples from our customers. Now I would like Olaf to take over and tell us more about PF6 Flex, about specific examples how PF6 Flex improves manufacturing and addresses the situations I described. Let me give you some solution which will help with all of those challenges. To we'll introduce you PF6 Flex, our new system for fixture tightening applications. When you look on it, the first thing which can come to your mind is that it's small and it has a couple of components here. But this doesn't mean that it will only take less amount of the space needed for installation, but the way how the system can be used changes, well, maybe not everything, but for sure a lot. For start, let's take a look on the semi-automatic station with a couple of spindles as example. This is typical station where we have spindles on moving manipulator and all are connected to standalone wall of controllers. So you need separate stand, in some cases even air conditioning. Each controller contains additional cables like power supply, communication between controllers, e-stop, and all of those takes time to install and in case of any failures, it's definitely not easy to find out where the problem is. Tool cables. Each tool needs one, and because it's not very close, cables need to be very long, which is again expensive. Second issue, maybe even more costly, you need entire overhead construction to somehow root those cables. Next problem with cable is that over the time they will break in the point when constant stress occurs. Exchange of such cable is definitely not fast and easy task, not mentioning the cost. We so long get used to this concept that many live with assumption this is how it has to be. Well, not really. With Flex, we can get rid of all of those issues. So, no more special cabinets, no more walls, no more long breaking cables, no more overhead constructions, and finally, much easier problem solving. This is our new lean station with same amount of spindles, is just much smaller. Now you have much faster modification on station by adding or removing servo drives in just a few minutes. Cables to tools are incomparable shorter because distance to controller is minimal. And they don't work, so will not be damaged that way. Entire diagnostics is much easier as communication between system components is on backbone, or you can call it a mounting plate. If one controller is failing, you will see this on the status LED located here. So then the only thing which you have to do is take screwdriver and have like two, three minutes or something like this. Done. There is also one very important, let's call it parameter. It's system weight. System can be up to 88% lighter than previous generation or our competition. This sounds nothing important, but actually this makes huge difference in robotic applications. Take a look on this example. This is a typical station, which suffers from the same issues as semi-automatic stations, so cables, installation costs, and so on. However, with Flex, this looks completely different. You have here just robot with controllers mounted on robot arm, which doesn't occupy at all additional space. Or you can have very complex power heads with multiple spindles and controllers. You just need to deliver power to them and some communication or it can be even other methods, some wireless technology. 
power head can sound familiar from welding stations. And yes, this is for some the biggest benefit with flex. Let's look at production line with different variants of bolts pattern on transmission gears. To make full automatic assembly, you will need in standard setup, free robots, free cells, free walls of controllers. However, this is not just one issue. Depends on product which you need to produce, not all of them will work at the same time. So this is clear waste of time and resources. So well, let's do the same what we did before. Exchange this configuration for flex system. Now we have power head with all what we need, but as we have power head, we actually don't need those two robot stations. One is completely enough, which is huge cost saving, both from hardware and time perspective. How this work? In this robotic station, we have three power heads, which will be selected based on actual product variant on workstation. System will make tightening, and when it's done, robot will grab second power head for another product variant, while the line will move specific components to assembly place. There are no delays for any system reboots, which will give highest possible station utilization. So you can save two robots and all what is needed to drive them, large amount of the floor space, and you gain further flexibility to add another product variant in same production nest. And don't forget about additional energy saving because this will be in such case really visible. The last thing Josef was mentioning about easiness to use. Flex uses the same programming software as many of other our solutions. So if you already had any experience with, for example, PowerFocus 6000, which is already a couple of years on the market, this will be already known component in system. So this is it. Andre will give you now more information about system components. Now we will be going over the basic PF6 Flex hardware. How to save time during installation of all the cables around the traditional stations? Do you remember how difficult it is to troubleshoot or replace the cables? We have reflected your needs by our Flex Carrier. Flex Carrier works as a main board of the other system components. All the cables, normally being outside, are now integrated and hidden inside. It's also equipped by fuses, so another safeguarding is not needed. Quick and easy replacement of the system component by just four screws. Have you ever dreamed about compact controller for many spindles? Our flex controller is a brain of the whole system maintaining internal and external communication, controls up to 50 synchronized spindles. Controller is every time placed on the first position in the flex carrier. Do you like an idea to have whole system and its configuration in a pocket? It's possible with our Flex IEM, Intelligent Application Module. IEM is system memory, stores application, software, your configuration and tightening result. Component is placed all the time in the Flex controller. Can you imagine small but powerful actuator for your spindles? Our flex drive is a powerful unit supplying power to spindles based on controller's command. One flex drive can run one spindle of any size at a time. Drive takes second place and further in our flex carrier. Now we have completed our PF6 flex control system. As a last step, place your controller close to your application and connect all the cabling around. Let's summarize the main advantages of the flex system based on improved areas. The first is increased uptime and improved productivity. PF6 Flex is a modular flexible system due to its standardized components and easiness to swiftly configure your own system. An ideal solution is to place controller directly on a robot arm and use HotSwap functionality to quickly replace the whole powerhead. HotSwap functionality enables you to have more product variants on one workstation and easily adapt to a new product variant. Next advantage is floor space saving. 
thanks to the compact size and low weight, you can place the controller almost anywhere. By placing your controller on a manipulator or a robotic arm helps you to reduce occupied space. No additional need for floor stands as it is for standard traditional stations. Last but not least, the reduced installation cost. Install the controller close to your application means shorter cabling, no need for cable trays and elimination of cable movement that prolongs the cable's lifetime. Shorter cabling and no cable trays means shorter installation time. How we bring value? The first is increased uptime. How difficult and expensive is every intervention on production system, either for maintenance, for configuration or for optimization? How much time it takes to analyze the status of the system? What it takes in terms of measurements or checks necessary to assure quality and performance on output? What if your system could enable easier and faster troubleshooting? What if your station design is neat and minimalistic and your intervention time is reduced? You just come to station and with few easy steps identify trouble and take measures to resume trouble-free operation. Also, we're trying to reduce defects. Many defects today are caused by operators. They try to make their work easier. They lose attention, they miss steps because they are trying to save time and energy. They also treat production equipment roughly and without care. But defects also come from equipment. Parts, cables or consumables wear out. Or there's incorrect configuration either by mistake, lack of competence or limited understanding to application requirements. Can you imagine how many defects could be avoided if operator influence is smartly reduced? Did you wonder how you could reduce defects through neat and minimalistic installation? Would you believe there's a better way to make manipulators or robotic stations more resistant to wear out? If you are introducing a new product to the assembly line or new product variant, what it means? It's about adding a tooling or rebalancing the line to accommodate the respective assembly steps. We are usually fighting with availability of space for mechanical construction or cables. All of this comes with a cost. And when we are thinking of fixture applications, then introduction of a change or new product for today's typical fixture station is perceived even more difficult. With modern wireless handheld tools, the rebalancing or creation of new workstation is easier than ever before. What if you could increase flexibility of your fixture stations so they are easy and quick to build, to change? So they enable easier introduction of new variant or new product? We're improving productivity. There are problems with making correct tightening on first time and how to avoid bottlenecks in production flow. Difficulty with long and complicated rework process is reducing our productivity. Or idle time of operators and machines. How much we could save if we implement automatic inbuilt repair of incorrectly tightened screws to avoid later repairs? What if we tighten several screws at the same time instead of tightening one by one? What if automation could increase speed of process by reducing operator strain and motion? What if robotization will enable fastest assembly time and enable easy 24-7 operation? Human interaction. It's where difficult to hire skilled employees and when we hire someone, he or she needs time to learn all different systems, standards, technologies and processes. Can you imagine if all your tightening systems, no matter if it is a manual wrench, a cable handheld tool or battery tool, or fixture system on automated or robotic station, when all these systems use same configuration software with same user interface, they have one communication standard. They have one logic of configuration and you can easily reuse it on any station. 
how much easier it could be for your staff to learn in depth and single platform and achieve excellence by continuous application of the knowledge. Today, we're also trying to reduce the consumption of energy. Energy costs impact our competitiveness and our energy efficiency defines our sustainability. Many of the managers have a headache when they think of how to save energy. Should I buy more energy efficient device? Is there a better way to save energy than just linear steps replacing older device with a new, more efficient one? What if there is a system to give you better energy efficiency with newer device, as well as enabling you a significant energy saving from reduced tooling and a reduction of equipment in your production? What if your energy savings are exponential? Have you been thinking of energy saving by reduction of stations in your production? Transform your production today and be ready for future with our PF6 Flex system. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.